In this video, I'm going to show you one of the easiest blitzes for you to run in Madden 23. This comes to us out of Big Nickel over G, but you can kind of mirror this concept from many different formations in this game. Now, if you're new to the channel, my name is Cody. We do videos every single day to help you become a better Madden player. So I just want to encourage you to hit the subscribe button. It's free, and it'll just keep you up to date with all the latest tips and strategies. Now, I believe that the Big Nickel over G is the best defense in Madden 23. I still believe that. I think that it stands the test of time. I think it will stand the test of time because it has all different kinds of pressure concepts that you can run. It has edge pressure, it has loop pressure, it has slot pressure, it has gap pressure, it has um, little linebacker stack pre pressure, which we're gonna go over in just a second. There are so many pressure concepts from this formation. It also has all of the coverages that you could ever want in all of the match defenses, as well as all of the uh, just standard zone defenses that you might wanna have access to. Now in this video, we're gonna show you a really, adaptable blitz that comes out of the best coverage that you can have a blitz out of this year which is man to man and we're going to show you why it is so good in this video so we're going to come out and i'm just going to run this against the u trips because i think it has the best pass protection just as a basic uh cons or basic formation to teach from and then if you want to get my full big nickel over g defensive ebook the link is in the description for my patreon patreon members get access to all of my ebooks as well as all of the updates to those ebooks and we have two incredible ebooks we're dropping in there for you guys this week on top of what we already have so make sure that you join the patreon again it's only 10 bucks to sign up for that so the play is lb blitz out of big nickel over g and there's a lot of ways that we can set this play up but what i like the most about this play is the way that it aligns to bunch and trips formations as you can see here we have really solid leverage to be able to play really good man coverage so what i like to do with this blitz is we're just going to show blitz we're going to pitch our line. We're going to crash our line uh, outside. And then from there, we're going to bring this guy in just like this. And we're going to bring this guy in just like this. And what you should see here is we're going to get this nice little gap pressure right through the B gap. Now, what I talked about it just a second ago is this is the most adaptable blitz that you could find in Madden 22. So another setup that we can do if we really want to gas them up, let's say that they are blocking their running back we can blitz this slot corner off of the left side. We still have everybody else manned up. And now our responsibility is if the running back goes on a route, we need to go guard him. But you'll see that if he blocks here, a lot of times we'll be able to scream at the quarterback. Really easy pressure. Again, this pressure can mold and adapt to the routes on the field and to the way the formation works because of the fact that it is such uh, such solid in terms of alignment. Now, if you don't want to crash, um, or I'm sorry, if you don't want to manually have to stack your linebacker, you will see here that this will still a lot of times come through the gap. Let me show that again. I got a little bit of a poor animation. If you just pinch your linebackers. So literally just show blitz, pinch your D-line, and then pinch your linebackers. And then you can contain out of this, but a lot of times you don't have to. And what you'll see is he'll loop through the B-gap pretty consistently regardless. And then the real nice thing about this defense is you could do it on either side. So let's say that they come out in this formation, but then they go to uh, trips tied in. What we can easily do is, because of the way this formation works, we don't necessarily have to like kill ourselves, if you will, to do this. We could send this guy off the left, and we could take the linebacker, or the defensive lineman on the right, and get pressure this way. So again, back to the adaptability of this blitz. I think that's such a big piece of this. You'll see here, we're able to get that edge pressure. Everybody's still manned up in good alignment. So it's a way that you can adapt to the formation, I think, really, really well uh, within this blitzing concept. Another thing that we can do is let's say that we really wanted to send some heat, um, but we want to make sure that we have, you know, really good coverage to the to the left. So we could drop this defensive end in a zone, and a lot of times what you'll see here is this slot corner will come off of the left edge. Now, as a user defender, again, I've got to go use that running back, uh, but this is something else that you can kind of build upon uh, within this defense. Another last little piece of this is we can obviously man up uh, defensive linemen onto the running back. So let's say we wanted to send the slot corner off of the edge uh, like so, then we could take this defensive tackle and put him in man coverage on the running back. And you'll be surprised with how good this pressure really is. So if the running back goes out on a route, we're going to have him manned up, and we're still going to get really nice pressure. 
But then the other thing that we're going to have going in our in our favor here is let's say that the running back blocks. If the running back blocks, typically what will happen is he will get sucked up in the middle of the defense and you'll be able to still get that pressure coming through the gap right at the quarterback. So it's a great way to kind of hedge your bet. Does the running back block or not? Uh, we'll be able to kind of create the pressure that way. Now again, there's one last blitz, uh, one last way to do this that I want to go over. Now this one's a little bit more aggressive, but let's say that you want to try to get two-way heat. Um, you can come down here like this with this user and basically kind of do something like this. And you see how fast the blitz will come in, and then I just have to get out to the tight end um, on the play. So there's so many ways that you can send pressure out of Big Nickel over G. And this is just one of the many options. Again, I think this is really, really a successful defense because of the way that it molds to formations, the way that with the show blitz feature, you get such a good alignment from this right here that we can send pressure, um, you know, just all over the place. If they're blocking their tight end, then we can easily man that guy up on the slot and then we can send the slot corner off of the tight end side, right? And now... Uh, you know, we can kind of adapt to that and you see how this is going to come in against a block tight end So it's just a really good defense for everything that they can do from a pass protection perspective as well as a route perspective So I want to thank you for watching the video and if you're really interested in getting the defensive ebook Make sure you join our patreon. It's only ten dollars to sign up for it There's a link in the description if you want to sign up for it and uh, Anyway, so if you want to sign up for it, you get all the ebooks and, and head on down to the description Sign up for the Patreon. Hopefully we'll see you guys over at our Patreon page.